Okay, Joseph, I agreed that we would take it for a walk, and it has been walking. Let's get it right back home now. You tell me lots of things. You told me not to have paint thinner, and that continues to be amazing. No, I told you it would kill you, which it continues to do every day. Listen, if we don't get it home, like, real soon, who knows what could happen? Oh, so now who's believing my little theory? I didn't say I agreed. Agreed that you have a curse? Yes. An animal crazying plus people bonering pheromone sweat excretion curse scent. I don't know, I haven't made a name for it yet. It's a man musk, really, a m musk. False. Well, then I guess you won't mind if we continue to take this dog on a relaxing 10K. Ever since I had to retire the white pants for the sake of this, I've had no choice but to get desperate. And as everybody knows, stupid shitty dogs like this are a proven man magnet. No, no, Joseph. A big D is a proven man magnet. This idea you have about romance is just TV propaganda made to sell deodorant and cinnamon gum. It's a waste of everybody's time. Because instead of discussing this topical political event that just happened, Ugh, I get it, we're all gonna die. Instead, yet again, we are talking about dumb, dumb fantasy men that might as well be poltergeists. Well, guess what, Jude? Such a quality gentleman exists. The kind that reads all the newspapers and the words in magazines and doesn't even post on Craigslist. Not even an anonymous torso shot with his hotel room number in the message. That guy doesn't exist. Does exist. And do you know what a high class guy like that likes? Dogs. Dicks. You know what? Fuck this fatty, fat, fat dog and fuck those white pants. It was never the pants. It was you and your lack of inner confidence. I'm gonna enter your confidence. I mean, just, just look at your walk. What walk? I mean, your knee distance clearly conveys a complete fear of commitment, while your elbow stance is totally coddle groveling. You need to free up your joints. You know, like this. Like Brando meets Luther Vandross meets I don't give a shit. It lets people know your downtown's open for business. And everyone knows when you give the milk away for free, they always buy the cow. Huh. And like this? Yeah, but lead with your crotch. You know, think of it as the masthead of your dick ship. I mean, I don't know. First of all, your opinions don't even count. And second... Second, arch the ass. Good, it's getting better. It's getting better. Yeah. Walk. Nice little bitch. You're looking good, baby. Looking good enough to eat. You guys like to party? And no, no, let's keep walking. I like to party. Yeah. No, he doesn't. <laughs> Don't tell me what I want. Wait, what do I want? You want to sit on this? Joseph, I have to get it home, remember? Look, we don't want any trouble. Baby, shh. No trouble. My associate Nebraska and I are about to hit a spin class and then head over to the Stephen Allen sample sale, but now all I want to do is spin that little chunk of yours around so I can sweat box that ass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, you like to dance? Yeah, huh? Yeah, show me how you like to dance. Okay. I am not some piece of meat. I am a real person. Or just chill. I don't mean any disrespect, but I gotta say something when I see some juicy thighs walking around smelling like a fresh hand job. It's not my fault. It's my pheromones. It's my disorder. Sad. Listen, why don't we go upstairs and discuss this in your taint? Listen, I'm gay. We're gay, both of us, okay? Good thing these plump ass titties are as gay as fuck. <laughs> Better get those elbows to touch. If you don't, you know it means you've got lupus. I'm trying, I swear to God, I'm trying, they're not going. Get them, push them. Oh, yeah. I have a whole bunch to live for. Treat us with the respect we deserve. You're acting like a garbage person. Don't fucking garbage me just because I want to feel free with my mind and my body. I can't find a single swinging dick around here who wants to do anything but discuss that topical political event. Oh my god, but we are totally going to die. You know what? I'm more than just a mind. I'm a body. A body with needs, okay? Needs that I don't need a queen trying to oppress and suppress like some puritanical pole pop. Whoa, whoa, no need to get alliterative. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. Good. Let's go upstairs so I can get lips deep in that porcelain ass of yours. I mean, I'd love to support your freedom, but... 
Oh no. Oh God, no, Joseph. Oh, <laughs> it's gone. It's. That's a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> You've been there. Uh huh. <laughs> 